We're here with California head women's rowing coach Dave O'Neill after the Bears swept Stanford in the big row. If you could take us through each of the races. Uh, you know, well, starting off with the uh, the Pac-12 events, the novice eight. You know, I knew, uh, Coach Tavalero made some switches around, just different stroke, different six seat. And uh, watching them come by right here, they looked really good. So I think there were some good changes. And, uh, you know, they've been uh, chasing Washington the last uh, this spring. And I think uh, this new lineup looks pretty good for them. And, and then uh, other races, the four, man, they went 7-11, which is a pretty good time. I think it might have been the, one of the fastest times we've had for the four there. And uh, a little bit slightly different lineup for there, but, like, really good experience and really strong. And then uh, the second varsity eight. Down almost uh, three quarters of length, it sounded like in the first 500. But they, we knew that they have some really good base speed, and they just stayed in their rhythm. And their freshman at stroke, and that Sarah Schwartz at stroke, and she's just cool and calm. And Heather Hargreaves on six feet, nothing really rattles her, and they just kept on plugging away and pulled away for open water. And then uh, totally redesigned Varsity Eight from last week, and uh, we did some testing on Wednesday, and they, you know, looks like looked like it'd be pretty good. So. Uh, and it was good. I'm setting a course record out there today. I think uh, it's legit. So. How much does it mean to you to, to retain that Lambert Cup for the fourth year? Uh, it means, uh, in terms of the Cup against Stanford, that means a lot. I mean, I think what even means more is uh, representing Team Jill, you know, very well. And, uh, you know, since we've been doing this since 2010, uh, it definitely means a lot to everyone on our team. So hopefully we made Jill proud today. And you, you mentioned Jill Costello. At the end of the race, you... You uh, announced that Kara Kohler is uh -huh. the recipient of the Joe Costello Scholar Athlete Award. Correct. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's for someone that displays the courage and perseverance and the positive attitude, just as Joe Costello did. And uh, and came out saying Kara had some uh, in the past year some incredible highs, uh, winning an Olympic medal, and then uh, and then she sort of had some lows after. And not too many people really knew how much of a tough time Kara had. But uh, she persevered on and kept on going and uh, did what she needed to do and uh, has come back really well. So, uh, so well-deserved honor for her. And uh, I know Jill, you know, definitely Jill's spirit lives on in town. And after what you take from here, you got two weeks now until the Pac-12s. So take us yep. through what you'll be doing to help prepare. Uh, well, we've got a sort of dead week uh, and then finals, finals the week before Pac-12s. But it's been like that the last few years and uh, we've handled it pretty well. Um, yeah, and I think uh, we'll do some more lineup switching around and see where we go and some good training. You know, we'll actually spend a couple days off the water and then come back on the water maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. And, um, you know, I think things look pretty good, but we're definitely focused four weeks from tomorrow being uh, NCAA finals. And, uh, you know, we've done pretty well at Pac 12s, but I don't want to get too focused on Pac 12s and, you know, focus, you know, what's, what's the main goal, which is NCAAs. Well, congratulations on the successful day here and racing as Team Jill. Go Bears. Thank you. Go Bears.